can read papers and get the gist of what the mechanism is or what the science is, but until you're actually doing it yourself, you realize how much work goes into a figure. It, it means a lot to me that I had these patients who were willing to give so much of themselves. Like, it really makes me kind of emotional. Yeah. Anything from uh, you know, super zoomed in at the cellular level, like one one part of one protein, to global public health presentations. So we basically do research on anything here, which is nice. We made one interesting find, which was four currents of two diseases, psoriasis and vitiligo, and that could be an area for potential uh, future research. It was also great to know how you have to, the work that goes into forming a research project. And it makes me know that how much I want to divide my time between clinic and academic research. We actually did a survey of um, our patients to look at the prevalence rate of intimate partner violence. We found that it was a much higher than we thought, it's about 33.3% of people in our clinic, regardless of gender or sexual orientation, have experienced intimate partner violence currently or at some point in their life. Learn how to be comfortable with yourself as an interviewer and hopefully a future physician that you can really be able to get this information. You've got to build a sense of trust with your patient because they're not going to tell you this if you just walk in and demand it or assume it. You have to really reach out to them and offer them something to hold on to. The ultimate goal of the study is to, for their information to help others and so they're, they're so generous to be able to give us this information. So you really just appreciate your patience. Essentially we're, we're trying to figure out what properties, what activities the cells that are communicating have to do in relation to each other in order for the learning of a cell to take place, for the brain to recognize this as something that's biologically important for the organism to hear. Simply put, it's just learning a sound and learning how to remember it later on. So one of the missions of the John B. Graham Society is to get people that maybe that don't have much background in research, sort of interest in research, and used to giving a poster presentation or an oral presentation, which is I think anyone that's a physician will tell you that they have to get used to sort of public speaking and presenting data and being concise and communicating clearly. Um, and uh, I guess if people say that research is kind of the currency of academic medicine, so uh, and this is a good first step.